What's up you guys? In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Fluid Mask in conjunction with Chroma Key. Chroma Key is used by many photographers in situations where they want to isolate the subject for post-production. Normally we could use tools like the Lasso or Selection tool, but I'm going to show you how Fluid Mask can help. Here we have a photo of my friend Mario. What we're going to do is use Fluid Mask to cut out the background so we can add our own. First we'll go to the Filter menu and select Fluid Mask. Fluid Mask separates all of the distinct sections it's detected with blue lines. Now let's look at the tools. Fluid Mask has a variety, but for now let's just look at three. The red brushes choose what will be eliminated, the green what will be preserved, and finally the blue for refining borders. Now let's pay attention to the blue borders. We're going to take the red brush and paint over the areas we want to eliminate. Since this photo was taken in conjunction with Chroma Key, it doesn't take long. Let's go over to the image menu and select Autofill with Keep. What Fluid Mask will do is intelligently select what to preserve as well as where to add the border. Now that I have my selection, we'll apply the cutout. Once it's done, we'll go to File, select Save and Apply, and then it will apply the cutout. Now we're going to move my friend Mario a little and add a background. It's important to note that in this tutorial, the image was taken to showcase how Chroma Key eases masking. One should make sure that the illumination on the Chroma Key background is as even as possible. In this case, it was pretty terrible, but on purpose, to showcase the power of Fluid Mask. Well, hope you liked this quick tutorial. 